Saint Tecla, the holy protomartyr and equal to the apostles, was born in 30 AD. We commemorate her repose in the Lord on the 24th of September. Saint Tecla came from the city of Iconium and was a daughter of a noble woman called Theoclea. At the age of 18, Saint Tecla was engaged to a man named Thamiris. Saint Tecla encountered Saint Paul as written in 2 Timothy. Saint Tecla was in the same neighborhood as Paul at this time and heard the sweet words of his teachings, which brought her great enjoyment and longing. While listening to Paul, Tecla forgot about all of the necessities of life, including food and drink. Even more than this, the thought of her mother and her fiancé did not cross her mind, despite their attempts to prevent her from listening to St. Paul's blessed words. Sometime after this encounter, St. Paul was imprisoned. However, this did not stand in the way of St. Tecla's great zeal and love for Christ as a result of St. Paul's teachings. The saint went by night to the prison and was nourished by the heavenly teachings of the apostle, and from this time she became his follower. When her family found her, they turned her and Paul over to the authorities. Paul was driven from the city and Tecla was sentenced to death by the proconsul. The blessed saint was ordered to be thrown into fire as a punishment for her acts. Yet, by the divine grace of God, Tecla remained unharmed. After this miracle, Tecla sought after the apostle and found him hidden in a tomb with his host Onesiphorus, and together they departed for Antioch. Upon arrival, the ruler named Alexander was smitten with lust for Tecla. Alexander unsuccessfully pleaded to St. Paul to take her as his wife. As a consequence of his failure, the ruler unashamedly rushed towards Tecla to embrace her. The saint tore his coat and threw off the crown he wore on his head. Saint Tecla was then brought to the governor as the wicked ruler could not withstand such shame and dishonor. The saint was then sentenced to be given as food to a lioness, and then a lion, and lastly to a bear. Tecla, with the protection of God, remained unharmed from the beasts, and instead sought over to a pond of water to be baptized. As she entered the body of water, the seals that were dwelling within immediately died by divine power. Following this miracle, the Mata was yet again given to wild beasts by order of the governor. However, many women gathered around and began to yell in protest against this injustice towards her, and yet again, the Blessed Maiden remained unharmed. After some time, she journeyed to Myra, to the place in which she met the Apostle Paul. From there, she returned to Iconium with the favour of the Apostle and taught the unbelievers there the Gospel of Christ. Departing from Iconium, Tecla went to the tomb where the Apostle was once hidden with Onesiphorus in order to venerate it. After this, the saint ascended Mount Calamon and dwelt within a cave there, undergoing many trials and temptations from the demons. Here the saint was able to work many miracles and became an unmercenary physician of souls and bodies. In response to their jealousy, some defiled physicians sent young men to taunt and tempt Tecla and dishonor her, yet the saint prevailed. Calling upon the name of the Lord, Tecla heard a divine voice from the heavens, guiding her to take haven inside a rock and to ultimately repose. Entering the rock, the maiden was spared from the wicked men and the Blessed One ascended to her bridegroom, Christ, at the age of 90.